Genetic drift is a fundamental evolutionary force that alters allele frequencies in populations due to chance rather than natural selection. While this process occurs in all populations, its effects are significantly magnified in small populations, where random fluctuations in allele frequencies can lead to the rapid loss of genetic diversity. This phenomenon accelerates genetic erosion, a process where the genetic variability within a population declines over time, ultimately reducing adaptive potential and increasing vulnerability to environmental changes. The role of genetic drift in genetic erosion is particularly pronounced in endangered species, isolated human communities, and cultivated crop varieties, where the loss of genetic diversity has dire implications for long-term survival and adaptability. Understanding how genetic drift contributes to genetic erosion is crucial for conservation biology, evolutionary genetics and sustainable agriculture. Studies show that genetic drift not only removes rare alleles but also intensifies the effects of inbreeding, leading to reduced fitness and increased susceptibility to diseases. This documentary will explore the mechanisms of genetic drift its impact on genetic erosion and real-world examples demonstrating its influence on biodiversity and population viability. Genetic drift occurs due to stochastic events that randomly alter allele frequencies from one generation to the next. These fluctuations are especially pronounced in small populations because there are fewer alleles to buffer against random losses. Two primary mechanisms drive genetic drift, the founder effect and the bottleneck effect, both of which contribute significantly to genetic erosion. Two primary mechanisms drive genetic drift, the founder effect and the bottleneck effect, both of which contribute significantly to genetic erosion. The founder effect occurs when a small subset of a larger population establishes a new population. Because this subset carries only a fraction of the genetic diversity of the original population, certain alleles become overrepresented while others are completely lost. A well-documented example of the founder effect is observed in the Afrikaner population of South Africa, where a small number of Dutch settlers carried a higher prevalence of certain genetic disorders, such as variegate porphyria. A well-documented example of the founder effect is observed in the Afrikaner population of South Africa, where a small number of Dutch settlers carried a higher prevalence of certain genetic disorders, such as variegate porphyria. Similarly, island populations of birds and reptiles often exhibit reduced genetic variation due to the limited number of individuals that colonize the island. The bottleneck effect, on the other hand, occurs when a large population experiences a sudden and severe reduction in size due to environmental catastrophes, habitat destruction, or human activities, such as hunting. The surviving population retains only a small fraction of the original genetic diversity, leading to a loss of rare alleles and increased genetic uniformity. The cheetah population, Asinonyx jubatus, provides a classic example having undergone a severe bottleneck during the last ice age. Genetic studies reveal that modern cheetahs exhibit extremely low genetic variation, leading to reduced fertility, higher susceptibility to diseases and poor adaptability to environmental changes. Genetic erosion refers to the progressive loss of genetic diversity within a population, often resulting in reduced evolutionary potential and increased extinction risk. Genetic drift accelerates this process by randomly eliminating alleles over generations, particularly in small populations where the effects are most pronounced. The rate of genetic erosion due to drift can be mathematically estimated using the effective population size, NAE, which quantifies the number of breeding individuals in a population. 
Studies show that populations with a small ne experience faster allele fixation and loss, leading to irreversible genetic erosion. One of the most devastating consequences of genetic erosion is the loss of adaptive potential. One of the most devastating consequences of genetic erosion is the loss of adaptive potential. Genetic variation is the raw material for natural selection, allowing populations to adapt to changing environments, resist diseases, and develop new traits that enhance survival. When genetic diversity is lost due to drift, populations become increasingly homogenous, reducing their ability to respond to selective pressures. For example, the Tasmanian devil, or Sarcophilus harisii, has suffered from genetic erosion due to small population sizes and inbreeding, leading to the spread of devil facial tumor disease, a contagious cancer that has decimated their numbers. The lack of genetic variation limits the ability of individuals to mount an effective immune response, demonstrating how genetic erosion can threaten species survival. Empirical studies provide compelling evidence for the role of genetic drift in genetic erosion, particularly in species with small and fragmented populations. Research on the Florida panther or Puma concolor cori illustrates how genetic drift and inbreeding have resulted in severe genetic erosion. By the 1990s, the population had declined to fewer than 30 individuals, exhibiting genetic defects such as heart defects, kinked tails, and reduced sperm viability. Conservation efforts introduced genetic variation by crossbreeding with a closely related subspecies from Texas, temporarily alleviating genetic erosion and improving fitness. Another striking example is the case of the northern bald ibis, or Gerontichus eremita, a critically endangered bird species that has suffered from genetic drift due to habitat loss and human persecution. Another striking example is the case of the northern bald ibis, or Gerontichus eremita, a critically endangered bird species that has suffered from genetic drift due to habitat loss and human persecution. Genetic studies reveal that remaining populations have extremely low heterozygosity, increasing their vulnerability to environmental changes and diseases. Conservation breeding programs aim to mitigate the effects of drift by maximizing genetic diversity through controlled pairings. Island species are particularly susceptible to genetic drift and subsequent genetic erosion due to their isolation and small population sizes. Island species are particularly susceptible to genetic drift and subsequent genetic erosion due to their isolation and small population sizes. The kakapo, a flightless parrot from New Zealand, provides a prime example. With fewer than 250 individuals remaining, genetic analyses reveal that the population exhibits alarmingly low levels of genetic variation, with high levels of homozygosity leading to fertility issues and increased mortality rates. Conservationists are using genetic management techniques such as selective breeding to slow down genetic erosion and preserve the species. Genetic erosion due to genetic drift is not confined to wildlife. It also poses a significant threat to agricultural biodiversity. Traditional crop varieties, which historically contained a wealth of genetic diversity, are being replaced by high-yield, genetically uniform cultivars. The Green Revolution, while increasing food production, has contributed to a severe loss of genetic diversity in staple crops such as wheat, rice, and maize. A study by the International Center for Tropical Agriculture revealed that 75% of crop genetic diversity has been lost over the past century due to modern agricultural practices. This loss of diversity makes crops more vulnerable to diseases and climate change as seen in the Irish potato famine of the 1840s, where reliance on a single potato variety, lumper, led to catastrophic crop failure due to a fungal pathogen. Livestock populations are also experiencing genetic erosion due to genetic drift in small, selectively bred populations. The decline of indigenous cattle breeds in favor of commercial high-yield breeds has led to the loss of valuable genetic traits such as disease resistance and climate adaptability. 
The case of the Ankol cattle in Africa demonstrates this phenomenon, where traditional breeds are being replaced by Holstein Frisian cattle, reducing the overall genetic resilience of livestock populations. Conservation initiatives are working to preserve rare breeds by establishing genetic banks and promoting sustainable breeding practices. Addressing the effects of genetic drift and mitigating genetic erosion require targeted conservation and management strategies. One of the most effective approaches is increasing effective population size by establishing protected areas, creating wildlife corridors, and implementing captive breeding programs. For example, the black-footed ferret, once thought to be extinct, has been successfully reintroduced through genetic management programs that aim to maintain genetic diversity and counteract drift-induced genetic erosion. Another critical strategy is genetic rescue, where individuals from genetically diverse populations are introduced to genetically eroded populations to restore variation. This approach has proven successful in species like the Florida panther and European bison, where careful genetic monitoring has prevented inbreeding depression. Advances in genomic technologies such as CRISPR gene editing and cryopreservation of genetic material offer promising solutions for future conservation efforts. For agricultural biodiversity, seed banks and gene banks play a crucial role in preserving genetic resources. Institutions like the Svalbard Global Seed Vault store diverse crop varieties to safeguard against genetic erosion caused by genetic drift and modern agricultural practices. Encouraging the use of heirloom and landrace varieties can also promote genetic diversity in farming systems. Genetic drift is a powerful evolutionary force that significantly contributes to genetic erosion in small populations. By randomly altering allele frequencies, it accelerates the loss of genetic diversity, leading to reduced adaptability and increased extinction risk. Empirical evidence from endangered species, cultivated crops, and domesticated animals underscores the critical need for conservation and genetic management strategies to counteract these effects. As biodiversity faces unprecedented threats from climate change and habitat destruction, understanding and mitigating the consequences of genetic drift remains essential for preserving the genetic heritage of both wild and domesticated species. Through proactive conservation measures and scientific advancements, it is possible to slow genetic erosion and ensure the long-term viability of vulnerable populations.